ಸಂಸಾರಂ ಬಿಂದು ಸಂಯುಕ್ತ ನಿತ್ಯ ಧ್ಯಾಯಂತಿ ಯೋಗಿ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಡಿಸ್ಕಸ್ ಆನ್ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಎಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಜುಕೇಶನಲ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಕ್ಯಾರಿಯರ್ ಟ್ರೈಬಲ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಹು ರಿಸೈಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಅರೇಬಿಯನ್ ಶಿ ಶೋರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಚ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಗುಜರಾತ್ ಅಗೇರಿಯಾ ಅ ನೇಮ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡಿರೈವ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಂದೂ ಗಾಡ್ ಅಗ್ನಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕಲಿ ನೋನ್ ದಟ್ ದ ಟ್ರೈಬಲ್ ಡೆಮನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಇನ್ ಫ್ಲೇಮ್ ಅಗೇರಿಯರ್ ಶೋರ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೇರ್ ದ ಡಿಸೆಂಟ್ ಆರ್ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಆಸ್ ಅಗೇರಿಯಸ್ Agarya is the smallest tribal group in Gujarat. They reside in Kutch district and other places like Matra, Mandvi, Drab, Mundra and Rajkot. Their total population is around 12,000. Agarya population is slowly decreasing and they come under the category of vanishing tribal groups in India. Formally they were known as iron smelters but their profession rapidly declined when the import of english steel in india was promoted during the 20th century it is believed that they were originally a darvidan speaking branch of the gond tribe as a separate group they differentiated themselves from other by owning their profession iron smelters nowadays they are considered as a traditional salt making groups in little run of kutch the run of kutch is a seasonal salt marsh in the thar desert near arabian sea in the kutch district of gujarat it is recorded that this world's largest salt desert is expanded covering an area of 7505.22 square kilometers salt farming is the main occupation of agarius they think that salt is the gift of mother earth but unfortunately agarius not having their own land and as the salt farming labors they work under landlords from October to June every year agarius work a long time under a scorching sun to extract up to 76% of salt out of the total salt production of the country they prepare salt farm by leveling soil cleaning and making an almost 2 feet high boundary wall they cyclically hold water in different ways and produce salt two time every month at the time of full moon run of kutch is flooded by sea water which they hold for salt farming they also use heavy pump set to bring saline sea water moreover they dig wells and use pump sets to lift saline ground water and fill the farming fields temperature from 21 to 24 degrees celsius of saline water is very much suitable for salt farming sea water is having near 4 degrees celsius where temperature variation of ground water is recorded from 14 to 16 degrees celsius which is preferably for salt farming they depend on natural evaporation to create white crystals on land from saline water the process of salt farming reveals that once the first layer of salt is formed it is scraped with wooden rake known as gantara salt farmer are found to rake the salt constantly in order to develop smaller crystal every 15 days they collect 12 to 15 ton of crystals from each salt pan and peel them up on the side of pans for loading on the truck it is also known that they use to sell rupees 900 per quintal crystal salt after every 5 year they also sneeze gypsum as a side product from salt fields where ground water is used for salt farming gypsum is used in cement factory 
plaster of Paris also made side by side. The cost of gypsum is almost rupees 400 per quintal. In sword farming area, many agariyas use pavan chakki. It is a windmill like structure that converts wind power into rotational energy through its blades. It is used to operate a pump set for storing water. They also use solar energy but electric power is used largely for salt cultivation. In order to earn livelihood, women and children of Agarius also work in local salt plants where they engaged in packing work. They also engage in charcoal production, agricultural labor, cattle farming, poultry farming, fishing, etc. As a reason of salty soil, agriculture is hardly accomplished there and they produced cotton, jowar, bajra, jeera, groundnut, pulses, etc. During sword farming works, they temporarily build small huts using scrap of tarpaulin sheets, galvanized iron sheets, and jute bags with bamboo frameworks. But due to rainstorms, huts built previously are brushed away. As a reason, they are to do afresh their huts in each season. Agaria huts are not having any attached bathrooms and toilets. Particularly, Agaria women face difficulties for open affection which hampered their privacy. They mostly received water from nearby water bodies. They also use well for water. Nowadays, Hitra Shark Munch organization and government agency supply water and they store it in an underground individual tank for use. They use electricity or pavanchaki or solar power or diesel generators for pumping salt water and lighting purpose. Better roads are found there, but the transportation service is not satisfactory. Schools and general store are scarcely found, but market, primary health care center, banking, etc. are not available. The mobile medical van visits the villages for health campaign, checkup, etc. Agarius usually from nuclear families while joint families are rarely existed there. Habitually, after marriage, son live separately with wife and offspring. They follow patriarchal system. The eldest male member is considered as a head of family. Hindu Agariyas mostly belong to the Chunwalya Koli subgroups. They are familiar as an endogamous community with several attacks or clans like Bethraj, Degam Chauhan, Garchanya, etc. While Miana and Sindhi belong to Muslim Agaria groups, they follow clan Exogami. Agaria people are connected by both consanguineal and affinial kinship relations. They call Papa to father and mummy to mother. Normally, wives avoid calling the name of their husbands. Calling the name of elder brothers of husband is strictly prohibited among them. There are many social cultural issues related to their childbirth. During pregnancy, new cloth and milk are given to the woman. As per their customs, mother or mother-in-law attends the delivery. After delivery, mother observes impurity during five days. Every day in evening, they perform folk song and dance and pray for better health and longevity of newborn. Agarius follows 16 years marriageable age for boys and 14 years age of girls. They practice monogamy, both Hindu and Muslims. Agarius follow clansogamy. Hindu Agarius also prohibited to conduct cross-cousin marriages 
they prefer dowry culture and divorce is permissible with the all consent due to work in sod farm their feet are injured frequently and salt is absorbed in it after death agarias cremate the dead body but feet of dead person are separately burned with extra heat they also bury dead body when death is accomplished by infectious violence etc in october they offer water to the deceased soul muslim agarias always bury the dead body agarias belong to a particular society and properties are inherited through male line daughter is not entitled shares father's property sometimes claim of daughter is considered as a right whereas sometimes it treat as an illegal matter in absence of son properties of a deceased father are given to nephew agarya women are mostly literate and their role in decision making is nullified they spend their life near the salt pan while accomplishing housekeeping and child care activities they also participate in charcoal making or salt picking they are too tolerant gender discrimination they suffer from health complications and domestic violence agarias use kachi dialect where as many of them speak in gujarati and sometimes in hindi they write in gujarati kachi is a new indo aryan language derived from prakrit the prakrit is considered as the group of vernacular middle indo aryan language used in india from 3rd century bce traditional food of agarya is bajra roti they consume it with garlic chutney they are non vegetarian and consume egg seafood chicken mutton etc alcoholic drink and tobacco consumption are prevalent there food intake of agarya is lacking proper nutrition and they are found to be malnourished in large extent dresses of agarya are very simple men put on a small dhoti and kurta while women wear sari blouse ghagra and choli nowadays agarya men wear a pant a shirt while women wear salwar suit their traditional ornaments are well known as kandora matha theekha bajuband kil etc sometime a man also wear finger ring necklace etc their traditional implement are known as dantala and fatia or rex pavdo pavdi kodari or spades etc which are mostly used in salt fields agarya do not make any utensils they use very simple utensils like hearth fry pan glass dish bucket pitcher etc which are purchased from their markets during religious and seasonal harvest festivals they perform traditional dances namely garba and dandiya navratri festival is very famous they also perform manjira doli titori ashwa tippani masari nritya etc with sharnai nagara manjira ghagar and dholak musical instruments they enjoy madira kotuloka and kundir music earlier agarias were prized by their traditional arts and craft like metal fabricating beading weaving stitching drawing painting and bamboo works presently blacksmith and beading are totally abandoned drawing on courtyard and house wall are still found they prepare toys cup glass wooden mask fishing trap and nets they participate in mekan sitla mata haji pirjasal tod and nag panchmi fairs at different times 
दे सेलिब्रेट द सातम आठम फेस्टिवल एंड रण उत्सव और कच्छ फेस्टिवल दिस फेस्टिवल कंप्राइज कल्चरल एक्टिविटीज फूड फेस्ट हैंडलूम एंड हैंडीक्राफ्ट एग्जीबिशन वाइल्ड लाइफ एक्सेट्रा दे ऑल्सो सेलिब्रेट दिवाली एंड ईद एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ यूथ डॉर्मेटरी इज नॉट फाउंड इन एनी अगरिया विलेज Agarya men women and children are busy for salt farming when salt farming works are over they used to gather in the community hall or playground of village school or in open space and discuss economic and socio cultural issues agarias worship various hindu god and goddess like dashama rani kama Rajbaima and Todaria for overall well-being. As a family god, they worship Dulha Devi by offspring gods, falls, coconuts, etc. Under their traditional regions, head Bhuva, all worship is performed. Agarias believed in noble and evil spirit, and they harm children and pregnant women. Muslims, Agarias. pray to allah and read holy quran due to inhabit in harsh condition they frequently suffer from severe diseases malnutrition anemia skin disease and vitamin deficiency are prevalent among them immunization and parental and child disease checkups are done by mobile medical van government agencies and ngos occasionally visit the salt farming areas to investigate their problems traditional political organization is almost nil some of prosperous agarias working as makara dams or secretaries in cooperative society look after the overall activities of salt making communities they make proper connection with all salt workers they sometimes put up their strong voice for their welfare literacy rate among agarias is 60.8% which is lower than national literacy rate some ngos such as ganatar and seva and government agencies are doing significant effort to make education more accessible to the children of salt workers they have established alternative learning school and child care centers formerly schools in kutch were known as ranshala but presently formal schools are functionalized there schools established in kutch are areas are found to have basic facilities like electric connection drinking water and toilet facilities a book library and first aid are available in every school mobile medical health checkup is accomplished occasionally ict facility is not available but there is found only one computer system used for official work like maintaining records of student and teachers midday meal distribution of material under different scheme etc teacher in classrooms sometimes use smart mobile phone for teaching learning purpose due to distant location some of the parents do not agree to send their children to school even they are not ready to free their children from their daily activities therefore the dropout of children is sometimes increased it is also informed that dropout rate of girls is very high because of the cultural restraints household work seasonal migration etc all teachers are working permanently but their number are not sufficient as per rte act their medium of classroom transaction is mostly kachi dialect they use discussion method textbook and improvise teaching material like chart map models globe etc in classroom teaching they also organize group activities and use 
लोकल आर्ट एंड क्राफ्ट फोक सॉन्ग्स फोक टेल्स लोकल गेम्स एक्सेट्रा टू प्रोमोट लर्निंग एस एम सी मेंबर्स टेक इंटीटेवेटिव फॉर मॉनिटरिंग वेरियस एक्टिविटीज सच एज पंक्चुअलिटी एंड रेगुलेटिटी ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एंड टीचर इन स्कूल कॉम्पलेशन ऑफ करिकुलम विद इन टाइम फ्रेम रूल्स ऑफ द डिसंगेजमेंट ऑफ टीचर्स इन प्राइवेट ट्यूशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ मीटिंग विद पेरेंट्स एक्सेट्रा दे ऑल्सो प्ले एक्टिव रोल इन स्कूल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर डेवलपमेंट पारेंट टीचर मीटिंग इज ऑर्गेनाइज ओनली वंस इन अ मंथ समाइम इंफॉर्मेशन इज नॉट रीच और समाइम पेरेंट आर नॉट एनेबल टू अटेंड द मीटिंग ड्यू टू देयर बिजी स्केड्यूल बट सम पेरेंट इंक्वायर डे टू डे स्कूल एक्टिविटीज ऑफ देयर चिल्ड्रन and whenever they attend ptm they discuss educational performance of their children therefore it may be said that most of the agarias are illiterate and they are still following their socio cultural orthodox salt farming is their traditional occupation agarias in all ages from child to adult and from adult to man and male to female are engaged to extract salt salt is very important ingredient and as a magnificent profession they extract salt which is supplied for millions of people prepare tasty food item consisting of perfect quantity of salt because a delicious meal needs pepper and salt but if they dominate the meal is ruined